In this video, we'll look at our end user report designer for ASP.NET applications. I'll add it to a web application and customize it. I'll start with an ASP.NET application that has a data aware report. First, find the ASPX report designer in the toolbox and add it to the web page. To assign a report, call its open report method. In order to run the web report designer, your application must reference all necessary JavaScript libraries, such as jQuery, jQuery UI, Knockout.js, and Globalize. To automatically attach all the required client resources, you can enable both the DevExtreme and third-party options in the DevExpress resources section in the application's web.config file. Make sure that the resources configuration section is registered in this file. Let's run this and check out our report designer in a web browser. It comes complete with a toolbar that includes a print preview. Let's look at how to customize the toolbar and add a new command button. First, you'll need to create a custom image that you want to use as an icon. Create a CSS file and declare a CSS class specifying the custom icon. Then include the created file in the HTML page header section using the link tag. Click the Report Designer Smart Tag and select Designer. In the Menu Items tab of the designer, add a new menu command. To display the created command in the main toolbar, set the container property to toolbar. Assign the CSS class to the image class name property. For the JS click action property, specify the client side action to be performed when the command is invoked. To specify the text for the created command, use the text property. Let's run the application and take a look at the button we just created. The Web Report Designer doesn't have the default implementation of saving reports, so you'll need to explicitly define how reports should be stored on the server side of your web application. To provide a custom server-side storage for web reports, click the Report Designer Smart Tag and select Add Report Storage. This adds a new class inherited from the abstract Report Storage Web Extension class, implementing several methods that need to be overridden. For instance, providing storing logic at the level of the set data and set new data methods. The getData method, in turn, should return the report layout by the specified URL. To register the web report storage, its instance is created and passed to the static register extension global method on the application startup. The report designer now has additional menu commands such as new, new via wizard, open, and save as. Clicking these commands calls appropriate methods of the report storage class. Now let's look at how to work with data. To provide the designer with default data sources, create them at runtime and add them to the designer's data sources collection. Run the application to see the registered data sources available. When an end user adds one of the available data sources, the data source object is cloned and its copy is assigned to the report's data source property. To enable end users to create new data sources, provide the designer with a set of predefined data connections. To use connection strings specified in the project's web.config file, register the corresponding connection strings provider on application startup. These connections will be displayed for end users in the SQL data source wizard when creating new data sources. You can also implement a custom connection strings provider and strictly define which data connections will be available to end users. You can learn how to do this in our documentation. By default, the designer uses the light color theme. You can change the visual scheme by clicking the designer smart tag, expanding the drop down list for the color scheme property, and selecting dark. And here's how the dark theme looks at runtime. 
And that's it for this video. To learn more about our reporting suite, make sure to check out the documentation on our website or watch any of the other videos from our playlist. You can also subscribe to our channel to get the latest content. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.